All right, you wanna see something that drives me absolutely crazy? The cost of these stupid keypads. All right, so let me explain to you what the hell this is. This is the, uh, it's under the Safe House brand, but it's Radio Shack. It's the catalog number 49-535 or 535A digital alarm key switch. It was an option for their security systems. These do not have a protocol. They do not do anything regarding protocols, special signaling, or anything. You look at the back of this thing, you even look at the manual, so you have normally opened and normally closed. You can latch them or you can have momentary. You have a normally open circuit for a, uh, a tamper or panic switch, and you have power in, and you have LEDs for indicating arm, and when your loop is closed. That is it. If you look at the side of the box even, select your own code and change it at any time. Arm and loop status LEDs. Wrong number lockout. Panic output by pushing star and pound at the same time. Built-in tamper circuit. Fit standard single game gang electrical box or mounts in the wall. Momentary or latch relay output requires 10 to 16 volts DC. And the box even says arms and disarms most alarm systems. This is not specifically for any security system, just any old style security system where you didn't want to use a key lock. It's, it's an option. That's all it is. It's $22.95. Let's assume this is 1985. That means in today's money, that's about $55. That's it. And that's where it gets frustrating because they want $119 for this thing. By the way, the reason I'm going after this keypad and this keypad specifically is because it's going into an installation where I need the original looking keypad. So yes, I understand I can nullify everything I'm about to complain about here because what if there's other people with the same idea wanting to do the exact same thing? I find it difficult to comprehend that many people all need the same keypad to do the exact same thing. $119, you're saying, okay, well, maybe it's just one of those people who buy them secondhand and they try and flip them for crazy amounts. Well, I'm not gonna fault them because most of these people are exactly that. But my problem is they consistently sell for that. This is the later version I mentioned, the 537. Functionally, the exact same thing, just different style, updated looking plastics. $65, $80, $74, $100, Seventy-five, eighty, seventy-five, and this is just the American stuff. Because I'm in Canada, yeah, screw you. I don't want to ship. Bam, only four results, of which is that keypad and that keypad. These have both held on to their value and gained value. Even the used ones are worth a bunch of money. Why? There's nothing special about them. They're just a regular keypad. China can crank these things out in a day for as long as they want. And no one's making a killing off of them. So why am I so frustrated about this? We go back and just look at other security keypads. Now we're talking proprietary protocols, weird like wiring semantics like for ADT, Brinks, the idea is that it secures the keypad. So it's not as terrible as these things here because you can, if once you get around the tamper switch, you basically just jump it and boom, you're done. So we got the ring ones here, $54 new but that's wireless then you have the older like the dsc ones 16.99 99.99 a, a general range still cheaper 25 dollars 27 no 36 dollars even the specialty ones 31 dollars there's a bit on that one there 36 dollars 50 dollars the point i'm trying to get across here is that for all these specialty keypads that you expect people would be spending a ton of money to get they're cheaper than the El Cheapo Radio Shack brand ones that don't have any secure features they're just a digital keypad that replace a physical switch or even a toggle switch and that's weird because you like like I said China would be cranking these things out they do kind of you get these $19.28 sure but no tactile keys it's a membrane you have a doorbell button because it's designed for a doorbell. I guess you could use it as the panic circuit there, but RFID. Now these older security systems are not all that secure. Anyone can tell you that. 
adding Chinese RFID fobs to a security system for an 80s system is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea because this now just means anyone can clone that key and bam, you don't even need the key code. There you go. It's terrible. Maybe they're buying... Okay, so maybe people are buying these things because there's nothing else in the market. The thing is, there is. There is. And they're still manufactured. IEI makes them. These things here, they do the exact same thing. They're just a bit more durable and they don't have loop indicators on them. And they're like $114 for a brand new one that's like com like fully supported in warranty. Ah! Stop it. I just need two of these damn things. Okay, that's enough of me ranting.